Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Crusader Kings 2, The Reapers Do, playing tall. Alright, so we're still Pilker Frody, the affable. I've already forgotten my parents, my father's name. Ragnarsson. Oh, I miss that man. Oh, Filker Ragnar and Sigurd Ring. I don't think we went this far back, did we? I don't remember. Anyway, so uh, also still paying attention to Ingjald. Ingjald. Waiting to see if when he dies, these cities go to two separate people, or if he keeps both of them. Uh, his heir keeps both of them, that is. So, um, one thing I was thinking about doing here is that I, I've considered re recently attacking and trying to expand a little bit again. And uh, I think we're going to do that. Kind of expand into the du jour area of Scandinavia. I mean, we just have so much available vassal limit, and it just seems, I don't know, kind of slow. And I want to do more, you know? I don't want to, like, c conquer the world or anything, but I... I do feel like it's time, maybe, to expand a bit. So, we're gonna go ahead and just sort of go... Uh, go after some Livonia territory down here. Uh, hey you, I want your land. Holy War, do it. Nearby, Sumanuska rulers might ask him to join. Going against the will of the council will be viewed as an act of tyranny. We have somebody who's against it. We've got our loyalist, Jarl Engramar. Uh, these glory hounds apparently see there's no glory in this war. The enemy is too weak. Well, that's kind of BS, man. What do you mean there's no glory to this war? Alright, can we change our law? Maybe we could just get rid of the council. So right now, uh, war declaration, we can't change it until we also have done ruler banishment sovereignty. So we do need to buy a favor if we want to do, declare this war. Let's, let's do that then. Go to our council. Actually, let's look at it this way. We'll go here. And we'll see. If we were to declare, we've got to either bribe our spymaster, the mayor, my niece, the marshal, who uh, is also my concubine. Uh, why don't we just see if we can buy a favor from you? 80 ducats? And you wouldn't even let me do it. Or I can give you 15 for 32 opinion. I guess we'll do that first and see if we can... Alright, so for 80 ducats we could get our war. Apparently she's lost a leg. I do have a thing for one-legged disabled women. Right? Don't quote, th don't quote me on that. Um, that sounds horrible. I wonder how she lost her leg. It wasn't my fault, was it? It wasn't like a... It was like an issue we had in the bedroom, I hope. Okay, so that, um, 80 ducats on you, and then the Spy Master. Buy a favor from you, looks like it's gonna be too much. 125. I love having my Spy Master like me. 47 ducats to make him like me better, though, seems a bit excessive. We do have a bunch of honorary titles, again, to give out. Seems like this is one of those things you just have to manage all the time. So, um... The Cupbearer. Let's try to get some opinion out of these guys. The law speaker's already appointed. This guy will give to uh, you. And we've got room for three herdmans. Basically, I just want these titles to all be given to somebody. So we have the opinion boost. I mean, why not, right? And then let's see. Uh, I don't think anything's changed, but who knows? Maybe. No. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to pay the 80 ducats. Let's go ahead and do that then. Wait for her to respond. And we're gonna go on a holy war! I want to call in council support. This is the same thing, right? Whether you're trying to pass a law or you're trying to, uh... Declare a war, I assume. Should be. Okay, so we have done it. But whether you think that it is a, an honorable war or not, it doesn't matter. We're going after Livonia. Livonia is part of our du jour empire. Let's do this. Ah, it feels good to be attacking again. Attacking is fun. Let's grab all the boats, come over to here. Pretty good chance that all the, uh, the Sumanusko will try to defend Livonia, right? So we will end up with some tribal levies. We have heavy, heavy infantry. We have a pretty sizable army. We've been sitting at full strength for a long time, just, you know, raiding here and there. Yep, there comes some people getting called into the war. Lots of people, in fact. Um, but basically we were anticipating all those people being in the war in the first place, so... No, nothing to worry about, right? still dislike how the G key, which is used to combine armies, is the same key that's used to change to the Trade Zones map. I just wish they would not do that. Wish they would not use the same key for multiple things. Like, I'm trying to combine armies, and then it just changes me to this map mode, which is pretty much useless. I wish there was a way to unbind it, but I don't think I can. Alright, so, the two du jour dar target is the Duchy of Livonia. And since he owns all of it... Looks like we need to occupy all four provinces to get the ticking war score. 
They're just tribal holdings. They should fall pretty quickly. I don't think we have any siege leaders. Let's check our commanders. We have room for more commanders right now. Got a morale damage guy. Hey, it's a siege leader. Sweet. My kinsman, you are now here. Anyone else that's got traits that I really like? Looks like no. Okay, I guess we're probably going to end up taking... Uh, my son, who is rival to me. Yeah, I'll gladly put you in charge, even though you're not very good at combat. I want you to uh, hopefully become a raider. So, let's go ahead and land. He does have a fair number of troops. Let's go ahead and uh, land here, then. We'll start sieging down his own personal holding. Only 340 garrison should be pretty quick to siege. Especially with the... Uh, What's his face? Siege leader. In fact, our supply is pretty poor. Supply limit's only 2k. Why is it so low? Pagan homeland. Okay, so that's unfortunate. We could build a fort here. So for 20 ducats, we could build down a fort and get the uh, the lack of attrition. We're probably going to need to consider doing that, considering that... Uh, So there's like no way to see this window now while this army's here? Is is that is that what's happening right now? Wow, that is kind of silly. Well, I'm very concerned about the amount of attrition we're gonna suffer. Maximum monthly attrition is only 2.8%, though. Me being in the center with 22 marshals, reducing it by quite a bit, but uh if we put the siege leader in charge, we're gonna have some serious issues here. But he increases the siege speed by 70%. Okay, supply over here is also only 2k. A little bit problematic, looks like. I think we need to build the, the forts. It'll be finished on the 11th of July, so it just takes one month. I've not often built forts, so it looks like we're going to suffer one month of attrition. Alright, Jarl Sirbjörns. Vassal uh, opinion goes up, cool. He's now at 100, so we should improve with somebody else instead. Let's head over to Frodi, my grandson. Uh, you are actually already the Chancellor, so we can't improve with yourself. Okay. So if we can't improve with you, I guess we go to the next guy on the list, which is going to be you. Seem to have missed it. This is the guy, and he lives there. All right. 5980. Really hopeful that we don't lose too many men here. As he's growing older, I can see that uh, this kid, the ward, could use some guidance. I'll become stressed, why not? He could become a diligent kid. He's going to turn turn 16 soon. No attrition yet. And the fort is now done. Outbreak of disease in the camps outside the walls has killed many of the besiegers. Well, great. Alright, so with our fort, we've got a uh, little tiny little bit of garrison, two fort levels. It's not going to last very long, but more importantly, the attrition's now gone. The fort should stick around, I think, until the end of the war. I, I don't think it will persist after the war's over. I don't know, I've not really played around with forts too much. I've never really found a huge purpose to them. But uh, we are facing a fairly sizable army, so I don't want to separate mine. It costs us 20 gold per province, that's going to get pretty excessive, but, uh... New grandson? We're going to die soon as well. Okay, um, probably going to need to just march in. We already have 40% war score. Those occupations are worth so much. Um, we'll see what we can do here. Supply's pretty low. I must find a court physician. We have a strong granddaughter. Cool. I'll go for that. And also, didn't I have a daughter that was just born recently? She's just the daughter of a concubine. My daughter-in-law just died due to complications. The attractive woman with chest pains, fever, cough, and gout. Good lord, woman. How many problems can you get? Sympathy for Christendom. A two-year-old strong gal. And you're old. 37 is a bit much. And then a 5 year old genius. Alright, let's go for just the 19 year old who's available right now. That sounds fine. We do have enough money, we can actually do this. And again, most of these troops are going to be light infantry. Look at that, 
3,384, of which 1,944 are light infantry. So rather than suffer this attrition, 12.8%, let's see if we can march over there and just engage him real quick. Uh, we've got uh, combat modifier 19% brave, morale defense, we have really good stuff for us. This is forest though, so we don't actually get any benefit there. It is November. Um, current winter is a normal winter. So... And then you have desert specialization, but you also have damage against religious enemies, and you are our religion, so you're pretty damn good. Uh, can we replace you with somebody who's a little bit better in combat? Mm, not really. There might be somebody else buried in the actual uh, army things, but not gonna worry about switching them. Let's just go kill his army. Your rangers report that a brilliant physician is supposedly residing deep in the forest of Vermeerland. It's a dwarf named Yalmer. He only ever leaves the forest in order to heal the sick children of nearby villagers. Ne nearby villages. Sure, let's uh, let's bring in the, the dwarf. Bring me the dwarf, the ugly dwarf. <laughs> you are now going to become the uh, the court dwarf. You are our special little dwarf man. As you were hunting one afternoon, a bearded elder approaches, donning a simpler a simple travel traveler's cloak and a wide-rimmed hat that conceals his other eye. He greets you with courtesy, requests a horn of mead, and then informs you that just yonder a well lies, forgotten, filled with gold. He wanders off, chuckling as he goes, leaving you struck with the familiarity of his presence. You inform your men that the wanderer was none other than Odin. We become we can become zealous, which does give us some martial skill. Awesome. We also gain 50 gold and 50 prestige. Or, uh, yeah, of course we were. Why wouldn't we take Zealous? The Zealous is awesome. And of course we killed these light infantry's butt, because we did. And we've captured some man. Is he worth any money? He is. He's in fact worth 46 gold. Is he a, uh... Yes, we have 100%. Varro... Varro is your son, isn't it? We caught your son. Well, that was an easy holy war. And we'll just stand down now. Uh, we are apparently considered to be threatening with 8.8% now. Alright, first things first sin is we get rid of the temple, and then this land down here. I don't actually want any of it. Um, so I think we give this to somebody. Who is our, uh, our heir right now? Our son, Gudmundur of Svithijid. Did we also gain the duchy? We did not. We would have to usurp it for 100 gold. I think we just grant all four counties to that guy. We have the wrong type of holding in domain. Apparently there is a subholding. Uh, no, there is not. I guess this doesn't update right away. Oh, right, right, the tribes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, in order to upgrade these, we would have to go further. I think we just give this to our son. Hopefully that's not going to cause any issues with uh, him inheriting the land that we have later on. We will give him two, for now. Hold on to the other. That way he can use his guy to try to convert land, and I can use my guy to try to convert land. Um, if we really wanted to convert the land quickly, we would want to have every single county held by a different person, so they'd all have their own council. But uh, for now, I think we just hold on to it, and go from there. Had to give up a prisoner in order to take that peace deal. Uh, we'll try to become proud, sure, why not? We have a new grandson, named Dan. Dan's a good name. I like Dan. It was a very easy holy war, wasn't it? Alright, so Livonia was the guy we just attacked. Uh, we could try to attack this guy now, and, and just continue to expand into this region here. Another holy war. Uh, nearby Sumanuska rulers could join. We lose piety to declare holy wars, but we have plenty of piety. There's really no reason to keep it. Gaining moral authority is fine. They're totally in support of this war. This is my... You think that this guy, this one province miner, is stronger than us? How does that even make sense? He's got 1,700 troops and we've got 4,000. How on earth are you guys calculating that he has... I don't get it. Is it the alliance web? Oh, he's, he's uh, in a defensive pact against us. Is that part of it? These guys are in the pact against us already. Vasterbotten. But these guys are... of a different religion. Did I mis misinterpret it? Are they actually going to join? Yes. All those guys would help out. Alright, I suppose we wait for the defensive pact to go away before we start uh, 
go nuts. 24 months to decay to zero. All we have to do is get below 5% and then the, uh, the things will go away. And then we can call it good. I can only try to make him a better, a better guy. I'll upgrade these to castles if we can. This, this province is actually pretty well upgraded. We have the weaponsmith. 600 prestige could be spent here. This one's already got a large market city. Wow. Upgrade we need to get you to level 4. Shipbuilder doesn't need to be upgraded and these are actually all looking good. Spending the war camp though, getting, getting that one to level 2 would be kind of appealing. But I'd rather just get the barony upgraded as soon as possible so we can get the subhill holdings as well. So uh, let's go raiding and get a little bit of money so that we can actually have... Uh, I'm going to take all of the levy as well, not just my own. Let's piss our vassals off. Basically, the closer we get toward death, the, the more interested I am in, in pushing our vassals' relations to the limit. You know, there's no value in having these guys. Hey, prosperity will increase significantly. Give us culture! Yes, we got culture! Woo! Legalism level 3, sweet! So we are now going to have access to high centralization, late feudal administration, and regulated inheritance. All three things that I definitely want and uh, I'm excited about, so that is awesome. So, um, when can we change law again? That's right, I need to open up my, uh, my notepad. Thought something was missing. October of 900. That's coming up at the end of this year, we can change succession law again. Uh, apparently we can actually already change this one right now. Is, uh, this one considered to be separate? We already have support for it. Let's do it. Do we lose anything by doing this? No, it doesn't look like it. Might as well take advantage of that favor while we can. In fact, we might be able to use the favor again if we're still allowed to do it. In, uh, six months or so. The Teutons! Looks like the, uh, the Catholics have just unlocked their holy orders. Alright, religious regulated law. Or sorry, not religious, yeah, just regulated inheritance is now in place. Knights of Santiago. So they have four Catholic, four, five, four, four Catholic holy orders, goodness. We can usurp the duchy, we have enough money now. So we might not even need to, uh, to declare the war, do we? I want to build a wooden hill fort here. And in Dorpat, as soon as this thing's done, we need to go... Weaponsmith should go to level, level four, so that is upgradable, and then we start doing the wooden hill fort. So, uh, is this the entire levy? Looks like it is. We have just the one army. Let's go ahead and toggle Raider. And how much are we pissing off our vassals already? Eh, just a tiny bit, not a big deal. Let's go for the raid of the... these places. Assuming that they have not been raided in a while. Yes, they haven't. Good, 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 good. Let's go make some ducats. And we will definitely be using the Siege Leader to, to try to speed things up significantly. Okay, uh, actually I want to take, uh... Still probably want to split the army in half. I think that's still going to be faster than just piling it all together. But uh, let's go ahead and put, um... We'll resign everyone from the, the sub, uh, sub armies. That looks like that's everyone. And then up here we're going to put the siege guy. I will go on one side over here. We'll split it in half. Siege guy still stayed in charge. Grab the other army. And, uh, looks like some of them have been appointed, again, to sub, sub things, which is just so silly. I just don't trust that it's actually going to give me what I need. They are not quite going to be able to fit that way, are they? I need one fleet that has just barely enough. Yeah, 45, that'll work. Oh, look at that, he's actually marching to stop me. Apparently we do need to keep the army together. I'll be there on the second, and we're gonna land before that, I think. Fair enough, looks like we're keeping our army together then. We have a kid with a uh, little bit of a stutter. How do we know? He's, is he stuttering while cooing? Like, he, he's a baby. How could he have a stutter already? Uh, looks like we are not actually getting the, the tech bonus here because we got put back in the center again for reasons. There's our Siege Leader Multiplier. Alright, let's keep the army together then. We'll just raid like that. Take down our top holdings, keep going. Crusade for Aquitaine! Really? So the Papacy has called for a Crusade for Aquitaine. 
the uh, the kingdom of Aquitaine. So there's a crusade against the Aztecs. And good luck, guys. We're over the domain limit right now. Looks like we finished a city. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can... We'll just give that to a random person. For now. And uh, when we come back home, we'll go ahead and start doing some more upgrades and kind of go from there. There's lots of things to be done, lots of places to go and people to kill, so that'll be great. But uh, for now, it is wife in a hiding. For now, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. See you in a bit.